drawing exercise 36 out of boundary a cast iron bearing bracket same thing as always you start by drawing in your um bounding boxes the front uh, front view is 175 wide by the height is 75 plus 13 plus 50 plus 37 and a half done 175 and a half mil probably should have been square draw this one on an a3 piece of paper or two a4s draw um tape together which means of course coming out here let's just pitch out our 45 degree line next is depth is 100 and Just remove what I don't want. Okay, we might as well start on the front view. Let's just scroll in. I'm just going to race through this because by now I've done a number of them. So I'll just do this quickly without comment. I don't want to. So there's the front view drawn. Pitch across now and do the side view. The key point of, as you know, we're doing a sectional elevation here. However, you can see the sectioning plane through the middle on the center line from B does not include the holes. However, being a section, the holes are still drawn in the correct position as part of the section. So holes are either rotated on the pitch circle and drawn in on the rotated pitch circle diameter, or in this case, they're drawn in the right position. So I'll just go and finish off now drawing the sectional view. Now I'm going to section the component. That's not there. And at the same time now I've got the section drawn, I'm going to add a fillet, which is a round of radius three mil as per the drawing. reason why I did it in that order is so I could actually go back and um, put in the lines again. That web is not sectioned. If I was to section that in like so, 
that's saying if I was to section that, that's telling the um, viewer of the drawing that that's a fairly solid chunk of steel. But it's not, that's only a little thin stiffening web. So webs are not sectioned. There is your sectional view, and the top view is even easier. There is the views all completed. Let's just have a quick look at a couple of things that I didn't bother with last drawing. There should be two different line weights on every drawing. Center lines are half the weight of the other lines. So let me just select all the center lines here. Like so. And I'm going to just change their line weight to 0.25 mil because everything else is a 0.5 mil line. So there's the center lines now correctly marked. Let's now indicate section BB as drawn. We're looking at it from the left hand side. I just realized I've made a mistake. It's a left hand elevation, not a right hand elevation. The advantage of CAD, it's absolutely no biggie whatsoever. There's a left-hand elevation draw. So there's your view looking at it from B. Let's now mark it in. We've got to put in our section plane. Check I'm on a 0.25 mil line. come up the top and we'll pick a thick line to indicate B. Paste that to there and let's just indicate that has been BB now. There is section BB, let's clearly mark it as such. BB, let's actually move that over to here. Let's now label the views. Section BB, that there is a front view. And this one in here, as you know, is a top view. We might need to rearrange those labels. I'll just leave them there. Final thing is dimensioning. Once again, I won't bore you. I'll just do it. So just to finish up with, I'll just put the 
lettering underneath the um, views where it's meant to be. Might drag that one up the top. Okay, like so. There's that one done. And just for neatness, I'll put that one down the bottom here. And once again, make sure your leader lines are off the drawing. I'm just going to clean this up a bit. Okay, so there's the front view dimension. There's the section BB dimension. Notice that we've got the radius there set. That's really the only place I could put in the web. There's the top view with the missing dimensions there. We've got that 100 across the whole lot. I'm happy with that. 